That were a punishment too good for them if they should have any allegiance in them being chosen for the prince's watch. Give them that charge, Master of Pugary. First, who thinks you to be the most discerning man to be constable? This is your charge. You are to comprehend all vagrant men. You are to bid any man stand in the prince's name. If you hear a child crying in the night, you must call to the nurse and bid her still it. How if the nurse be asleep and will not hear us? Ursula, go wake my cousin Beatrice and desire her to rise. I will, lady. And bid her come hither. Well. Ah, oh, good morrow, cuz. Oh, good morrow, sweet hero. Why, how now? Mm. Mm. It's almost five o'clock. It's almost time you were ready. Oh, by my troth, I am exceedingly ill. For a hawk, a horse, or a husband. The letter that begins them all, H. Well, and do not be turned to. There's no more sailing by the star. What means the fool, Trow? Nothing I, but God sent every one their heart's desire. Have you some moral in this, Benedictus? Moral? No, no. I have no moral meaning. I meant plain holy thistle. <laughs> You may think for chance that I think you are in love. Nay, by a lady, I'm not so, such a fool to think that you will be in love or that you can be in love. Yet, Benedict was such another, and now he has become a man. He swore he would never marry. Mm. <laughs> what is this pace that thy tongue keeps? Not a false gallop. Withdraw. The prince, the count, Signor Benedict, and all the gallants of the town have come to fetch you to church. Uh, oh, oh, help me dress up, uh, sweet cause, sweet Margaret, sweet Ursula. Oh. Uh. 